Family, welcome, welcome back, back to, to our, our channel, channel guys. guys. It has been such a long time since we filmed or vlogged, but we are so excited to be back. And I'm actually so excited to sit down and film with you. Sorry about the long wait, but today we actually have a fun video for you guys, and we are giving away some cool tips. Oh, I was like, what? You do a giveaway again? No. <laughs> well, hopefully so. <laughs> today we're going to be doing dating do's and don'ts, and we know a lot of our followers and our subscribers are single people who want a partner so yeah and we also always get asked about yeah. relationship questions and dating questions and advice on we thought it's about time we put this out there yeah so let's just jump straight into today's video so guys we have the coolest dating advice for you and you want to start or must i yeah you can go for it <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it from the girls first. <laughs> and then we will take it to the guys. <laughs> okay. So personally, Wesley and I actually didn't have uh he didn't take me out on a date to get to know me or anything like that. We kind of did it the old school way when we started dating that was like almost 10 years ago. I think in this day and age it's scary because you never really want to go on a date if you're not 100% sure you into that person. If you don't really know who you're chatting to mm -hmm. and you just met this person on a dating site or uh, just on social media like facebook or yeah. instagram you really don't know whether that person's profile picture is the person yeah behind that photo people be catfishing these days so it's a bit scary so the first don't is don't put pressure on your dates to be a certain way and don't put pressure on yourself keep it casual in the beginning you are just having a chat over social media that's probably how you guys met uh, when you are going to have that first first face-to-face -face encounter you want to keep it relaxed and keep it chill don't put too, too much of pressure on yourself to deliver a certain standard or try and make up something that you're not keep it cool keep the conversations light let it go easy yeah remember you're not you're not making a life changing decision yeah it's you're just meeting this person for the first time you just want yeah. to be friends you just want to get to know the person yeah it's not like you're gonna buy a house or buy a car <laughs> and uh, all your money is gonna get lost uh yeah so just keep it cool yeah i think it's important not to put too much of expectation on the date it's just a date so leave it like that i think the other thing that you do is uh ask questions mm -hmm. about the other person and don't keep the conversation only about yourself as yeah. if you're so conceited this is who i am in my company this is what i do this is my profession mm -hmm. don't do all those things but do ask questions so that you get to know the other the person, person better yeah that's so true um another point on that is that people when they're nervous they kind of talk a lot mm. so i i think i'm a little bit like that if it is silent like that awkward silence i want to like fill that gap because it's so weird and i would rather talk in the midst of that but if you are somebody who wants to get to know the other person it also makes you seem like as if you know you are intrigued by who they are and it gives them the 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 um, it makes them feel like you are interested in getting to know them and that's a plus for you because you look more attractive that way and people like when you pay attention to them and listen to them okay so another don't is do not be on your phone or be interested in anything else around you or anyone else around you. Now, that's a big turn off. As a woman, if a guy picked up their phone in front of me and we're like having dinner or the first date or whatever, that is very rude. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously, that's like, no, you don't do that. And it's also funny because people can get easily distracted with other people. Um, so you're on this date and then your cousin walked in or like an ex walked in and then you like direct that whole conversation to that ex, what the ex did to you and oh, that's insane and that's so bad. I think from a guy's perspective, if I, if I am taking you out on a date, yeah. 
So I basically planned this whole date and I've got all these things that we're going to do on this date. And if you take out your phone, it is yeah. late, blatant disrespect. The phone as well. That's it's disrespect and it's, it's like you don't care mm-hmm. about this time that I invested in you. So yeah. that's just a turn off. doesn't matter how pretty or beautiful you are, how you dress. All these things go out the window. Yeah. I think also another thing is that sometimes people don't do it uh, on purpose. But what they would do... If you are like a high demand person, like maybe you have a job that requires you to be on your phone like constantly or answer your phone at like whenever people call, then I think that's something to like say when you just, you know, like not even halfway through the conversation. Maybe like say that I'm somebody who um, is very committed to work and I have to be on my phone. So please, I do apologize in advance if um, I'm not trying to offend you, but this is work and I just have to quickly just chat with this person or whatever address that first so the person knows that you're not being rude and I think you'll be off the hook yeah okay good point but I don't agree (laughs) the next do will be be you you gotta be you Mm. don't be anybody else don't try to put on a front don't try to be all gangster don't try to be not gangster just be yourself (laughs) just be whatever that is be yourself so uh, I mean at the end of the day, if the girl takes a liking to you or the guy takes a liking to you and then a couple months down the line, they're going to see this other part of you, which yeah. was not been, has not been portrayed, then it's not going to be good. Yeah. It's, and uh, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty sad because a lot of people feel like they need to portray a certain image yeah. or they have to live up to a certain standard. And the thing is, a lot of the time, the other person just wants to meet who you really are and they... Like, I don't know, but I, speaking from my personal experience, I never put on at all when Wiz and I was, like, trying to talk uh, or, like, getting to know each other. If I would eat, I would eat in front of him. Like, if there was... I was never shy, let's just say that. I was myself, I was, like... I would go up and talk to him. Him, on the other hand, he was very shy, but that was his personality. So I got to see that firsthand. And when we started dating, then things started to change. Because a little bit of my outspoken vibes rubbed off on him. So, and a little bit of his ways rubbed off on me. So, we, you kind of, um, you know, equal, what do you call it? You kind of, uh, what? You level each other out in a way. So, yeah. be yourself. You never know who you are meeting. And, yeah, they probably will see such... And you don't want way. to duplicate anybody yeah. else out there. There's yeah. already... That person is already there. You don't want to be that yeah, person. You need course. to be yourself. You need to be original. And you need to be the person that that person will fall in love with. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> just be who you are. Be you. That's in life, just in general. Okay, the next one is don't. Okay, so don't bring up controversial topics. I mean, it's your first date, right? And we all have things that we believe in. We have things that we stand up for, uh, values and all of those things. It's nice to have a first date to just get to know the person. Yeah. And if those conversations do arise, you don't want to create a emotional tension or like a vibe that is, you know, not going to be beneficial beneficial for the first date. It is just the first date. Yeah. You want it to be cool. And you want to also have fun on this first date, so yeah, I make mean, sure yeah, you keep the conversations light, basically. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't want to get into a conversation with you and then you're going to have a perception of me based yeah. on that first date. Yeah. You want to get to know the person mm-hmm. and then down the line, they will know the things that you stand yeah. for and who you are. Of course. Uh, and all the controversial things will start to pop up and yeah. then you'll never know. Maybe that person will hear that understanding yeah. of you. Rather than you just going and dishing out, hey, I like sports, I like gymming, I like hiking, and then the, the, yeah. this other person has nothing of those. No, but, and it, then she's no, but, like, it's, but it's fine. Even if that other person, like with me, I don't like soccer. Wesley is a soccer fanatic. He plays soccer, he watches soccer, his uh, Instagram feed is soccer. So it's not that the first day or like the first week or whatever and he, he told me about soccer and I was like oh my gosh I don't like soccer so I can't be with you it's fine to have differences but so I kind of disagree with you on that one because I don't know where he was going with that but no what, what I'm trying to say is yeah 
on your first date don't get into controversial topics in terms yeah of, but you were saying that um the person will think that oh they don't want to be with you and stuff what yes because it sometimes people get this perception that okay you know what you're not my type you yeah, are you're on that like, level y- yeah. yes okay so, so i get you yes. so then I, uh, what i'm trying to say is people make the rational decisions slide, yeah. yeah let those conversations slide of course so that when you get to know the person yeah yeah a few weeks a few months down the line then yeah. you understand hey, these are the things they like yes. and although i didn't like it maybe now i'll take a liking yeah. towards it and it's not for the first date it's maybe like your third fourth fifth date then you can start getting into the deeper stuff and yeah. really show who you are in terms of what your personality is and all of those things exactly the next do is and i think every guy should have this down have a plan in terms of you are going on this date don't go blindly <laughs> don't go there and then think hey i don't know what restaurant i'm going to i don't know whether we're going for dinner i don't know whether we're going for coffee i don't know whether we're going for a walk on yeah. the beach i don't know all of these things mm-hmm. and we're just going in blindly have a plan have a plan you going here this is how much time it's going to take you these are the types of conversations we're going to have if we have a awkward silent moment this is what i'm going to bring up Yeah. Uh I'm going to be paying for this because I'm a guy and uh maybe you want to agree no, with this. No, but I po- let me just share my two cents on that, right? Okay. So I'm I, old school so No, no, no. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but in this day and age there's a lot of women that also want to do certain things. Do certain things. No, okay, so, I understand that maybe so this, No, no, no. Let me finish. Okay. So my take on this is that I also learned this recently is that whoever plans the date So if I planned the date, I'm a woman and I said, you know what, where's let's go out for coffee on Friday and um you know what, after coffee we'll go ice skating. So I was the one that initiated it and I was the one that said, let's go on this date. I don't know what's his budget and you know if he has the money to go ice skating or even have the money to go to coffee. Mm. And a lot of people assume that because you are a certain gender you have the money or because you are a certain gender you're supposed to be doing x y and z but not necessarily it is that way i'm a confident woman i can pay for you that's not a problem with me but yeah okay, i understand and also no no not only that uh, a lot of men kind of also feel like they should do the part of paying or whatever but my thing is whoever initiated going out they should pay right like if i'm taking my friends out and i'm telling this person okay, you know what right. no no no, no wait, let me finish we talked to you about the no, first date yeah. let me finish yes the first date is fine if i initiated it i think that's how it needs to be done like okay. if you initiate hey, it take me out babe <laughs> if you insist on paying mm. for coffee then you can pay for coffee i'm not going to refuse that but i'm okay. just saying there's um it's it's not nice to you know initiate going a certain place to a certain place and then expecting the other person to pay i think that's rude let us know in the comment section on what you guys think i don't know that's my personal opinion um we're still learning so no but uh you love for me to pay in this day and age not when we were dating that's that's when you were like yeah now that i got you you pay yeah pay, he's pay like that. he loves pay when i take out money. the cash <laughs> okay so don't go in with a checklist now i know this is hard especially for us girls we know what we want and we want what we want <laughs> okay so when i was not dating anybody i already had an idea of who i wanted to date So when Wesley came into my life, I honestly did not <laughs> want me. Say it, say it. You didn't want. This it. is our testimony, so there's no yeah. nothing to be ashamed of. But I'm not ashamed. I got you. <laughs> I told you I get you, and I got you. Okay, so let me let me just talk here. Let's so talk, talk. when Wesley first came into my life, I already kind of knew that he wasn't going to be the one because all I felt like he was too big at the time. I don't know why. Look at how young I look. <laughs> Okay, so I um I already in my mind knew okay, this is not the guy for me. And then when we started chatting, I already had a certain expectation of what I want and you know, I just made my own criteria in my head because 
and women do this a lot because they either been hurt in the past or they don't want a repetition of somebody else that hurt them or let them down or was just a bad boyfriend so i think that's where the list comes into play is that we create this imaginary list in our mind um so that it protects us it's basically like a barrier it's something that yeah it is like a protection that we have so if you don't meet this criteria or this list you know what take a walk like that's what we do and this is where i think faith comes in because sometimes you just have to let god do what he needs to do and that's what happened with Wes and I I had my criteria and Wes was just this person that just came into my life and then swept me off my feet that's honestly what happened um I can remember the the days where I would say I am not going to fall for this guy like I am not going to but then there was a moment where God had like I could really feel that God spoke to me and said you need to stop putting up these walls because you're just making it harder for yourself and then I felt that and I didn't have any feelings for him but I trusted the word of God if that makes any sense and I just trusted God to protect me and I said father I'm leaving it to you you do the rest and when I made that decision all I had to do was make the decision everything else the feelings the love the attraction and everything else just came along with it and I promise you it was the most single most amazing decision and best decision of my life. I If I can add to that. Mm -hmm. I think the most practical thing I could ever give you an example of. Yeah. Is you can take all your ex boyfriends or girlfriends photos and put them next to this new guy or girl that you're going to be dating and ask yourself, do they look the same? Oh, exactly. They don't. Wow. So you cannot compare this wow. present day guy or girl to your past. Stop looking in the mirror, you might crash. So leave all that. <laughs> so leave that past behind and let's move forward from here. Wow, where okay. did you get all this? Put it here, put it here. Put it here. <laughs> okay. So guys, that's actually some I actually learned something from today's video and I didn't know you was uh you got all those cool tips for us. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay, so the next thing is um oh let me just elaborate a little bit more on the same topic so i wrote down here let them like their own hobbies even if you don't okay everything is going to everything is not going to be the same and that's the whole point of being in a relationship or that's the whole point of you know being with somebody you're not going to have all the same things that you're going to like the same foods that you're going to like the whatever you're going to have a lot of things in common but then you are going to have things that are not going to be in common and that's where you kind of flourish and you get to learn things out of your box you get to explore and what i love about Wes and I is that i am such an outgoing person so i like going on those crazy rides and he's somebody who is <laughs> it that's a video story for another day but uh yeah no, he hates it i don't it. hate it But then it's so funny for me because I can scream and laugh at him and then that's how we make our memories you know what I'm saying. So <laughs> there's going to be things that you both are not going to I don't know agree on and there's things that you don't agree on or you don't like but it kind of changes you in a way that you never thought you would change. And you sometimes you start to see it from that person's perspective oh, and then you never know you probably will start liking those things. Yeah, like with me and soccer and stuff now, I really have to dig deep inside of me and find a place where you know what, there's things that I do that he doesn't like but I I need him to see from my point of view. So now um I'm actually planning but uh we're going to sit and have a nice soccer day. We are going to watch a whole soccer game with him Ooh. and have like a fun day and I want to be a part of his world also. I also want to see what it is about and what makes him happy. I never want to take away something that brings him so much of joy. And for years and years I would do that. I would be moody because that's my time with him mm. and I just realized that I cannot be such a mean person and take away something that he, <laughs> take away something that he loves. Like I love makeup, I love filming videos, I love you know my creative time and if he took that away from me it's so sad so yeah sometimes Absolutely. just let it be yeah. what it is okay. you know okay now i have some tips for you guys okay so there's no more do's and don'ts there is it's kind of like do's and don'ts but it's more 
tips on the okay. days, right? Let's okay, so tip number one, have conversation starters. Now, this is a huge tip, guys. So this is basically making you a more confident person. So before you go on the date, have things in your mind or like keep it on your phone, maybe if you're a forgetful person like somebody <laughs> so conversation starters are super super helpful if there is like dead awkward silence you can mm. always think about hey do you, are you into sports I got do you tip. like sports or I whatever got a tip. And I got then, a tip. yeah go from there yeah smell good no I, that was my second tip i had that you see that's oh, you stole okay. my tip wait no i was going on hygiene <laughs> like okay oh yeah yeah smelling good mm-hmm your mouth gotta smell good. If you, <laughs> and your teeth uh, need to Imagine you're going white. in for a hug uh, and you and smell you're not gross. Looking and yeah. not looking and smelling good. Yeah. Or your mouth. I think is, appearance is also something that's yeah. very important. Oh yes. Um please do not dress up. Yeah. Like you're going to a club on your first date. Yeah, exactly. It's a huge turn off. Yeah. Another thing I wanted to talk about quickly is that uh, your presentation of everything like your nails your toes yeah. your hygiene appearance even if you are a put together person for the whole week um it is important to look good for your date because you want this person to see the put together person not the untidy person you yeah. know uh, so that's very important so the next one is super important guys now i know i used to be the most awkward person when it came to talking in public or like just greeting people i never knew how to like if the person's coming in for a hug or a handshake or <laughs> i had a lot of those days oh, where true. i was going in for a hug and that person was like uh, coming in for a handshake and then it was like the most awkward thing and then you don't know what to say after that it's yeah it's horrific if my sisters are watching this they are already past screaming what laughing. about that one day you no went... <laughs> Oh, don't be blasting she, me here. She literally went in to like kiss on the cheek. No. But yes. No. Yes, you went to kiss somebody on the cheek. You hugged them and went to no, kiss them I on the cheek. No, I went to hug and they were not coming in for a hug. And no, then not when that I one left day. the hug, then they were coming in for the hug. So it no, was, not that day. It was like back and it, it was literally many like this. Like it was this. literally like, oh, hi, hi. <laughs> it was so weird. Wait, I'm talking about the one with the cheek now. What was that? You went to, like, you know how they give up on the cheek. <laughs> But then the both heads went in the same direction, so they ended up. <laughs> <laughs> no, that happened with Steph, not me. Okay, that's bad. the wrong person. Oh okay. my god, he's that's so mean. That's not was even me. That was sure? my sister. What's wrong with you? Okay, okay, one of those things. All right, so yeah, it's very important to commit to what you are doing. So if you're gonna go in for a hug, go in full throttle for a hug. Mm. Don't step back commit to what you are doing you don't want to do like a high five and then that person's like uh it's weird <laughs> yeah if you're going to do something make sure you're doing it beforehand so they can see what you're doing yeah and then they are already mentally prepared to come in for a hug or a handshake or whatever you are going yeah. to be doing right and i think it's important for the woman to initiate what you want people to do so if the guy is coming in like from far with a hug and you're not comfortable just yet with hand the up. hug then you'd be like oh, hi 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 and then even if it's a side hug i mean or a first bump <laughs> oh anyway you can't be doing that it's coronavirus yeah so just so now it. the first pump and like the i don't know or what else like... yeah the elbows so yeah uh next i think one. the next tip that will just come to my head will be don't have to be physical on your first date there's no need for kissing and touching. <laughs> I'm watching you. Yeah, I think also it's something you just don't necessarily need to do. Yeah, you don't um, have to do. And I don't think it's appropriate because you're meeting this person for the first time. I think maybe towards the end of the date, if you are already like laughing and very comfortable with this person, then maybe like the touching of shoulders or like hands or holding of hands, things like that is fine. But some women or people feel uncomfortable if you just go in straight and just yeah. hold their hand and stuff. It's like, uh, this is awkward. Yeah. But if everything is flowing the way you want it to go, then I don't see if there's harm in holding hands or like, yeah, that should yeah, be about I meant it. like too physical. Yeah. Like, like, there's no need to pressure yourself to do certain things on mm. the first date. It's like a first date, guys. So yeah. there's no need Take for that. it easy. Okay, I think it's so important not to be late because firstly, this is a date and people 
want to be popular and say i was fashionably late and guys that's just if you think about it re- in reality people don't want their time to be wasted and yeah. it portrays that you are not um uh, taking them seriously yeah uh it also is disrespectful so they could be doing so many more things with their time and you standing them up for such a long time or whatever the case is it just shows that your your lack of interest and also yeah it's it's poorly or it's a poor thing to do on your end yeah yeah i think yeah it's it's like what i said earlier it's like disrespect yeah because you don't appreciate that person's time so one is don't ask all the questions via text before you meet so this way you can have a great in person conversation which is so good but by the time Wes and I when we were chatting like way back in the day <laughs> we had to only chat via text um or mix it or whatever and uh, we already knew like almost everything about each other by the time we would talk and how many children we going to have no i know uh, he was still play <laughs> i was still playing hard to get and he tried as much as possible you guys just like on friend zone me all the time yeah. i was like what am i doing this guy like, <laughs> what happened kegan so what had happened was eventually i gave in and you guys know the story but when we did end up like talking and stuff we already had a chunk of things that were spoken about so by this point we were we already felt like okay we know each other but now i guess i don't know it it feels weird because we knew each other no but so... we're talking about first dates yes but that's what i'm saying a lot of times people chat beforehand before meeting yeah don't give so don't too, give much too much over texting yeah. because you want to have real conversations like with a personal person. face-to-face encounter yes. and also you want to see certain topics yeah. with that person's like, expression you want to see it for the first time when you ask them like certain things like and yeah. then see their first response yes. and their expression and Absolutely. their posture all of those things are very important so watch posture body language all of that i mean you can ask somebody a serious question over Yeah. WhatsApp or Messenger. Mhm. And they could answer you in a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, that's so exactly. So you want to get a <laughs> response so and funny. see who this person really is. Of course. Okay. So the next one is admire You got a lot of next ones. You're not allowing me to talk. You are Can talking. Can you give me that? Me. Let me talk this. Okay, go. Let me give this thing you. What are we doing? Which one is it? Is this one? I think we already did that. Admire your differences. Yeah, yeah, we did that. Okay. And the next question to do is Oh, what do you do for fun? <laughs> learning what learning what the person likes to do. Yeah, we did that. No, we didn't do that. Okay, we didn't. Do. I think it's an important question to ask the person not what they do or what work they're in. Um something mm. different would be what do you like to do for fun? So that question kind of makes them feel a little bit uh, always comes out in a Okay? I think that question will always come up. What do you like to do for fun? Yeah. yeah, I think it's more important or not more important but it's more it puts the the conversation at ease because when people meet each other the first thing is that oh hi I'm so and so whatever whatever and then the first thing they go into is uh so what do you do for work? And sometimes people feel pressurized oh, yeah. by that. Maybe they have a good job or whatever but the way in which it's like like being approached uh yeah. it's like an interview setting. So sometimes just yeah. cool it down and be like So what do you do for fun talking like on the weekends and stuff? Talking about interviews. Why are you cutting me off? <laughs> Because while you're talking some things are just like uh talking about interviews I would say Also don't interrupt your the person when they're speaking. That's a real turn off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. You always do that to me so I stop doing that. I'm too. learning it's rubbing off. Anyway. <laughs> uh I would suggest that when you're going on your first date try to sit next to each other you don't have to but try to sit next to each other so that yeah. you don't but have that next to each other what we as an i do is sometimes if there's an edge I'm of the table you can't off now wait if there's an edge of the table you can sit adjacent to each other you know not directly in front but on the side so you kind of have like a view to look at and yeah. what we as an i like to do is that we'll sit in um like a table like that and then we will look at the crowd and then we'll have like our own funny jokes about the things about the that people are happening and whatever yeah. and it's it's more i think especially in your first date you want to have a view like, of yeah, things, you don't want to direct have view and like then, a 
interview setup. Yeah. Like, what do you do? This is what I do. Yeah. What do you do? This so you also want to take already away. Already yeah, and sometimes the thing is you want to take Thanks away the again for cutting me off. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> it's okay. So annoying. It takes away. <laughs> so, what this will do is it takes away the focus of being pressurized by talking about this relationship and this date and then you kind of focus away on like real people around yeah. you and you're like check that guy actually that's so funny what he's yeah. doing that's why i would yeah. suggest after you have something to eat and stuff take a walk so yeah. you get to see things talk about the stuff that's around you what's totally. happening in nature yeah yeah so that's our two cents hope you guys actually really did enjoy that video um and learn some tricks from us um and don't make the mistakes we did we never went on what are you talking about like our no, relationship this... was so funny because he never asked me out guys right up to now we 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 <laughs> yeah so that is it for today's video guys and we hope you did really enjoy this video please don't forget to like share comment subscribe Tell us what you want us to be chatting about or what video ideas you have for us and we'll be posting it for you. Um, right now, I think it's a very sad time that South Africa is going through. We went through a very difficult week and this morning is a, is a Monday morning, but I just felt like God wanted, he, he wanted us to realize that there is a new day and he's at work doing the best for us and it's such an amazing moment to see the power of people, good people coming together and building South Africa once again. Um, yeah, and I'm so sorry to yeah. each and every one that was affected <clears throat> by it. Uh, our prayers are with you guys. And yeah, we just hope and pray that, you know, you carry on strong and this will pass, guys. It will pass. Yeah. So with that being said, um, we will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys!